Grandmother's Birthday by Helen Found and Ruby Foote. A read aloud from Genesee Country Village and Museum. Original printing dedicated to Jean Sweetland, our beloved fictional grandmother Henry and real life special friend. Tyler hurried through his work at Mr. Murdoch's law office. He didn't want to miss the two o'clock train that would take him home, home to Granny's 90th birthday party. As he finished the filing, he checked his watch. He treasured this watch because it had belonged to Grandfather Henry. Granny gave it to Tyler when he was a young boy. He noted that he had ample time to catch the train. The Henry family settled in the area very early. A small village had grown up near their farm. Tyler had always loved to visit this settlement. In his mind, he could see the tinsmith, the blacksmith, the store, and the other tradesmen in the village. How many would he recognize after his years away? He hopes that the kindly organ grinder will still be roaming the village, entertaining visitors. Bidding good day to Mr. Murdoch, he got his hat and headed for the train station. How good it would be feel to be home with mother and grandmother, his brother Caleb and sister Betsy. Sadly, father would not be there to greet him. He had died a few years earlier. Tyler's excitement grew as the train neared his home station. His eyes scanned the platform looking for Caleb. Sure enough, his brother was on time to meet him. He had grown to be a handsome lad. After a warm embrace, they headed home to the farm. Mother, fish towel in hand, ran to greet them. She was a welcome sight. Betsy was in the kitchen preparing goodies for Granny's party. Then Grandmother appeared stooped and a bit grayer, but full of life and so happy to see Tyler. Oh, Tyler, said Granny as she hugged him. It is so good to see you. I believe you are taller than on your last visit home. How is your work going at the law office? I enjoy it very much, responded Tyler. Tell me the news in the area. Your friends are anxious to see you, replied Mother. Clara is the teacher in the Red Schoolhouse and a good one from what I hear. Her brother Will is the storekeeper and hopes to buy the store soon. You'll see them at Granny's party. I'm looking forward to that, but now I'll change my clothes and help Caleb with the chores. Soon the men headed for the barn. After a quick supper of leftover meat, biscuits, and juicy cherry pie, the Henrys were ready for their guests to arrive. The first knock at the door was Mr. Foote, the organ grinder. He came early to welcome the others with his music. Then along came all the other friends from the village as well as their farm neighbors, the Fosters. An evening of storytelling, music, and reminiscing was topped off with a one, two, three, four cake and ice cream. They could see grandmother was beginning to tire, so the evening ended early. Goodbye, happy birthday, thanks for a grand celebration, reverberated in the evening air. What a wonderful night, Granny exclaimed as she gathered her family close to her. It's a party I shall never forget. 
birthdays come once a year, but families are forever. You can make the one, two, three, four cake that the Henrys shared with their guests at home. Just follow this recipe. Tennessee Country Village and Museum extends heartfelt thanks to Ruby Foote for her express permission to use this work as a read aloud resource on YouTube and our social media channels. For more helpful and inventive resources for learning at home, please visit our family fun and learning page at www.gcv.org.